Hey guys, I'm actually trying something new. Um, so um, I'm comparing the Beast from Roman against a self-made one from Pascal. Thanks for that. Um, I'm just trying uh, which one of both will be faster at full pot. And afterwards I will heat it up up to minus 150. Um, and then pour down again just to see which one is faster back to full pot. And um, yeah, we'll see. My, my, my piece is quite old, so I was benching this thing for <laughs> more than three years, maybe four years. I don't know. It looks not so good anymore. Um, and this one is brand new and he's just trying to improve it more and more. So let's start. I hope you can read the temperatures here. So actually the beast is at uh, uh, 24 and the other one at 23. 0.9, no, 24, so both are equal. And now let's start. So um, just to tell you something about the other pot, um, it weighs at least twice as much as the Beast. So it might be perfect for very heavy CPUs like 18 cores. But this I will try a little bit later. So now you can see the advantage of the Beast already. So the Beast is at minus 17, while the, uh, the other one is at plus 2. So right now the beast is at minus 60, the other one at minus 12. So minus 90 to minus 23. Minus 110. To minus thirty. So the bee starts to make weird sounds, which is the line force effect. And there we go. Full pot at the beast. Done. And minus 51 at the other one.
I will do this until the other one is at full pot and then check um, the reaction once it went down to full pot and you heat it up and you want to go back down which one is faster I just decided to do this at uh, minus 120 or even better at minus 100 because this is the temperature you need for um, the CPUs like all the X299 uh, CPUs so 18 core 16 even the 28 core the uh, 3175X the Xeon um, that chip also has a CBB because of the fiber the internal voltage regulation Mm -hmm. and thanks to this um, fiber the chips won't go full pot um, because they will just shut down and won't work anymore so we call this the CB or cold pack and once the CPU reach the cold pack it just freezes and won't start again so you see it's quite slow that's because of the weight I think um, because it's really heavy let's say it's a pure piece of copper so we reach minus 90 Both ports look pretty similar, in my opinion. We reach minus 15, 115, sorry. Oh, that looks good. There we go, full put. So if you wonder about the temperature from here to there, um, I got two different uh, K-types. So this one measures much lower than this one. I don't know why, maybe the 
uh, tolerance on this one is a bit bigger I don't know um, even physically it's not possible to reach minus 197 degrees okay let's heat them back up um, I'm using a heat gun with 650 degrees Celsius So heat it up a little bit and now let's see which one is faster at full pot again. So the beast is at uh, minus 102, the other one is at minus 104, so we'll see. Let's try. And now the bees already took over the lead. So the beast is done. And not enough LN2 for the other one, but uh, you see it's slower. So the other one, uh, the, the beast already reached full pot and the other one is still at minus 170. So, but still uh, freaking fast, um, uh, considering there are not so many uh, traces um, is it traces I'm not sure I don't know sorry for my bad English but anyway uh, Roman did a lot of cuts like like yeah hor horizontal cuts in there and um, those are missing here so maybe this is why it's a little bit slower uh, once it had the line frost effect uh, but uh, getting full pot here 
it takes at least twice as much time like this one okay i hope you like this video uh if yes thumbs up follow my my youtube channel because um planning to do a little bit more like this thanks a lot for watching see you guys